Anthony. Boy, get up. You know you got school. <laughs> Keep playing around if you want to. You miss that bus. Something real good gonna happen to you. <laughs> Boy, I said get up. That's what I remember about him. My best friend. Someone who taught me to love myself, this man instilled in me the proper morals that would later in life help me become a man, grow mentally and spiritually. A loving single father with nothing who gave everything. Three months old, 1982. Just me and my pops and one of my many sisters. I'm passing around one of the oldest pictures. That's the oldest picture that anybody in my family has of me besides me. You know, I took them all because I was embarrassed. Uh, my father sent for me when he heard my mom was trying to put me up for adoption. And from then on, we were inseparable. Three months old, single father. My dad was 54 when I was born. He died in 2002 at the age of 74. When I got older, I asked my dad about the adoption thing and asked him why he sent for me. You know, I wanted to know. He told me, he said, real men do real things. Growing up, my dad would always tell me, boy, don't call yourself getting bass in your voice before you know where your bass voice before you know where your voice comes from. Mm -hmm. And I used to always look at him and think, I mean, really, what is he saying? Mm -hmm. One day he told me, that means don't get ahead of yourself. He said, before you can love anyone or anything, you gotta learn to love yourself. Before you can take care of anybody or anything, you gotta learn to take care of yourself. All the manners, morals, values, and some of my beliefs came from this man, along with a very large family. Some of the things my father taught me, I didn't understand until he was gone. I know what, I, I know what I've been told was true. You'll never really miss a good friend until they're gone. The last pictures of my dad taken before he passed away. 54-year-old single father. In my opinion, there are not many like him in the world. And I always want to be there for my kids like my dad was always there for me. As I said earlier, my dad taught me to love myself and instilled in me good values and morals. A loving single father with nothing and gave everything. Now, whenever I feel lazy and there's something that I know I should be doing, I remember what my dad said, boy, get up. Thank you.